स्किट शोकेसिंग रेसिज्म इन एन ऑफिस नमस्ते मैं अंजलि हूँ माई नेम इज अंजलि एंड आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया आई रियली रियली लव इडली सांबर एंड डोसा पच्ची चिम्स यू पीपल आर रियली रियली अनहाइजीनिक एंड अनसिविलाइज जस्ट गेट आउट फ्रॉम हियर Why I came here, I only don't know. Hi, I am Angelina, a computer engineer from USA. Oh gosh, another racist here. These white supremacists always interfering with others. Oh no, white people colonizers, the one who destroyed my beautiful Indian and Asian culture, always poking colonizers. Am I committing an international crime? Sinning by just being white. Why is there a growing amount of racism against Indians, Jewish, and white people? Hello, everyone. Namaskar and welcome once again. So, in today's episode, we will be discussing about this huge problem which is happening around the world: racism, and the situation has gone. like worse than the 1920s and 30s let's start on 5th october i had disclosed the name of the new podcast which is known as called to pedigree this is the really really cute cover and this is the logo so this podcast will be focusing more on technical issues that is we will discuss like things related to computer science and engineering there will be a series of episodes and also about the current affairs so it will start around after like 1 to 2 weeks later what is racism so racism basically means to discriminate between a particular race that means one race is greater than another someone will discriminate another race or because of skin color or ethnicity someone will prefer someone or demonize someone and this is nothing new under the sun during the colonization era also like there was a lot of racism so how did this started so around 1800 the british people that is the white people came to the african countries or middle eastern countries or asian countries like india or nigeria or iraq and they like gathered the information the knowledge of the ancient wisdom which the previous people of the ethnic ground uh, ethnic people had done up regarding maths and all so when the conquest they came and they took black people and indian pe- people as slaves for their work so this is also known as crony capitalism which grew by the mid 1800s and then the black people also started living there obviously in america in uk and then there was a huge amount of racism there hence this belief led to white supremacy that means white people are more superior in the jim crow south in the uk and many people stood up against this horrible thing example rosa parks in the train she told that she is not going to keep quiet mahatma gandhi ji also stood up against racism so yes then the anti racist movement started and in the 1969 or in the early 1970s the black lives movement started this advocacy started like it grew so much that the term woke was also coined so woke basically means that you defend the black people or the minorities and you stand up against the oppressor though initially this movement started on a positive note it gradually became really really toxic and now we can see that there are many many tiktoks and social media platforms out there even initiatives which demonize white people and even there is a rise in anti semitism anti indian people anti hinduism etc and this has grew up into the college protests and like the dei so what is dei it basically means diversity equity and inclusion so this means that no one is superior to another and they believe that diversity is our strength this also led, led to a rise in multiculturalism that means different cultures integrated in one country 
which is good but also bad in some ways. There is a growing amount of white guilt and the accusation on white privilege. And this has become so toxic that we exclude the majority people like um, or those oppressor people. This is based on intersectionality that is groups are created. It is similar to critical race theory. It, critical race theory also ranks people based on the race, sexuality, ethnicity, gender, etc. And like they rank who is the oppressed, who is the oppressor and by how much. So through that it is measured and now it rules. So those who fill the oppressed gap like whites or straights or men or western people get demonized so this is really really wrong and now because of the israel palestine protests there are being so much wokeness in the college campuses that they are cursing jews demonizing jewish people and also america people they're chanting death to america death to israel while i agree that partially the pro-palestinian protesters are correct and in some ways Israel is wrong. You can check the episode and link is in the description. There is a huge wokeness and there is not a solution. In fact, the problems are increasing. Now we will look at the rise of anti-Indian racism. So when Elon Musk took on Twitter in 2022, now it's X. I'm also there on X as conservative Gen Z. So he promised free speech and like now people can speak from any any perspective. But this free speech grew up so far that you see a reverse wokeness and also you can see white people demonizing black people and also pro-Nazi accounts are growing on social media like the white supremacists that are directly demonizing even legal immigrants and indians and like black people etc they are stereotyping indian people as pajits pajit chim and this pajit came from punjabi word because sikh americans or british people and like for muslims they call like very very bad people from pakistan from india and this i think is really really wrong because of mass immigration, because of illegal immigration, which is also wrong, these people are demonizing black people and brown people also. So I think that both are at fault. Like there are so many accounts which say that we need only white people in the world, black people did nothing for development and white should not marry non-whites to preserve the race, etc. And like sometimes they use even religion, which is really, really wrong. They think that Indians are dirty. Recently, a comment made by Sydney Watson, a conservative commentator, went viral that when you that your food isn't really food or tasty if you need to put dirt spices. That is Indian food, since it uses a lot of spices. Seagull, we also don't like your faint, bland food. We love our Indian thalis and Bhartiya khana. They are, they, are, they are demonizing the political figures too. They complain that Indian people poop around the road, around the beaches, especially in Canada or at airports. Now, in this matter, the concerns of the native people who live in the Western countries are little correct because we see that Indian people, like illegal aliens, not the same people mostly, but many like Indian people or Pakistanis or Venezuelans, etc., they shit on the beaches like they can't keep their own country clean. Then let me ask these people, why are you coming there? To dirty or to demonize that place? If that happens, then yes, these people should be like warned or or there should be mass deportation. Like they, there is a lot of litter, a lot of garbage thrown in our own countries. Eastern Europe, like Ukraine or Denmark, and also East Asia, especially South Korea, is racist. They have rigid beauty standards, have barred Indians and Pakistanis from entering some places like clubs, and also they demonize Indian people and even white people. This is really, really narrow mindedness. Our accusations of serious injuries. Even we see Indian people being racist, like demonizing the people who cannot speak Kannadiga 
or like other states people or demonizing biharis there is also racism against northeast indians and we call them chinese and chinki which is wrong see indians we should learn to unite hame ekta nibhani chahiye Recently, Matt Walsh, a conservative commentator's movie, came "Am I Racist?" and yes, that is a worth movie. But also, even Matt Walsh could be seen racist, where he like demonizes non-white people. We see that even Charlie Kirk demonized Martin Luther King, who like initiated the civil rights movement. See. now you white to white people you people have stolen our knowledge our goods etc and we expect you to treat generously with us and you people should recognize our worth too and even to the works and white people did applied rightly hence they were developed now i am not saying that westernization is exactly modernization of course there are some elements like liberty or democracy which came out of western culture because of christianity but the two terms are not synonymous what i mean is that exactly dressing like western people or eating like them or speaking english does not mean you are more modern your character matters more also to the woke people you should be thanking white people you should be thanking men you should like at least yes you cannot agree with every time even i don't agree but at least respect Now about multiculturalism, I believe that there are not all cultures are the same, so like there should be a common unity. So multiculturalism is not completely bad, but we should be learning to respect each other's cultures, religions, ethnicities, food habits, etc. And you should understand that diversity is not the strength, but unity in diversity is the strength. After the great flood Noah's three sons separated and hence different races were formed so ultimately we are belonging to one race I believe that different races people can embrace that differences and we should look to people not by their intersectionality or crp standards but as humans made in the image of god responsible for their own sin so yes mutual understanding is really really essential It's so okay to follow your culture, like wearing your dresses or eating like Indian style, but you should respect other people and be mindful. Yes, I'm proud to be white, but I will also respect other people. I recognize that everyone's lives matter, but I wouldn't discriminate others because all are equal. We won't be racist. Atiti Devo Bhava. not going to be woke so thank you guys for listening to this episode hope you understand the reality of racism treat every human with respect and end racism bye